let's go ahead and select this little cube here to get that open. Once we do that, we're going to get a window that pops up that says New Erection View. This is going to have us create a view to open so that way we can get into our model to start working. If we take a look at sheet S5, we can see it calls out the bottom of base plate as our 99 foot 2 elevation. For this, let's call this new view AB plan. And then for our elevation, we're going to put in 99 foot 2. For this, I'll just go 99-2. And that little dash there signifies that foot inch separator. For this, we do not need to add in our foot or inch symbols here. We can just go 99-2 and the system will know that is 99 foot 2 inches. For this, we're going to save this erection view as a primary. Next is our drawing grid line pen color. This is going to be the color that the grid will show up on our drawing. Below that, we have an option for modeling grid line pen color. We can specify for it to match that drawing pen, use the side options, or we can set a custom color for this new grid line. Being that this is a plan view, we wouldn't really see that unless we open up an elevation view. But for this example, we're going to leave this all default. We can specify our line type. We're going to check on make this my default view. This is going to open up by default every time we come in to this. And then below that we have for detailing. For detailing marks the views for a separate for detailing list when looking at the views and modeling and when you're detailing your erection views. Marking that for detailing is just going to place that in a separate list and it doesn't matter either way if that's marked for detailing or not we still have the ability to detail this erection view. In this case, I am going to go ahead and check for detailing, and I'm going to go ahead and say OK.